What's up y'all? Empresari here, back at you once again in another video. I hope all is well with you today. In this video, let's discuss how your anger sends potent shockwaves through the atmosphere. Sometimes people say and do things that you don't like, but most of the time you don't react. You stay level-headed, you stay laid back, you stay grounded, and this is what's happening at least 98% of the time. You usually have really good control over your emotions and how you are feeling. But every now and then, as a human being, there are those times when people strike a nerve and they happen to do this on a day that you have time. So you will say something in such a way that makes people instantly realize you are mad. And it kind of catches people off guard because you are the one that's usually easygoing. Maybe you're happy-go-lucky all the time. It's pretty rare. It's not often that people see you get mad at all. When you are mad, you might say certain things that people never really heard you say before. And when they could tell you are mad, well, you'll, you'll get different reactions from people, which we will get into later in the video. But for some of those people, they might start getting scared of you. They'll start fearing you almost like how they fear God. If they are a God fearing person, people are so used to you being how you normally are. And since they never saw that side of you before, they don't really know how to take it. Once somebody makes you mad, they don't really know what to say or do to get back in your good graces. They don't know if you never want to speak to them ever again or if you're just mad for a few hours or a day or two, like they just don't know. There may be people who actually do care about you for real, but they still made you mad. And they don't realize until after the fact that they don't really like the feeling of being on your bad side. Your anger is so powerful. And when used in the right way and received in the right way, it makes changes with people. We're talking valuable, life-changing changes. Your anger makes a bold statement before you can even fully get the statement out of your mouth because people can feel it. You are sending a potent shockwave through the whole atmosphere. Everyone in the whole room can feel it when you get mad. People can even feel when you are mad, even on the phone, even if they are watching you on their phone or watching you on their TV they can still feel it through the TV. When some people get that inkling that you are upset about something, as I stated before, you will have different reactions from different people. You might have some people that will run and hide, or they may just stay away for enough time that they feel like you have calmed down. Okay, you have some people that will run away and never come back. You have some people that will gaslight you and try to make you believe that it's your fault they mistreated you. They will, for example, like, let's say, ladies, let's say if a man hits you, he might tell you, oh, I slapped you across the face because you didn't listen to what I was telling you. It's your fault I hit you. You know, they'll try to gaslight you and make it seem like it's your fault. They are mistreating you. You might have all different types of reactions. You know, some people, it may be rare, but you may have some people who actually apologize. Or you have those people that they may not apologize, but you will notice a change in their behavior. Of course, it all depends on the person, but most people don't like the feeling of not knowing where they stand with you once they know they have pissed you off. It's a very uneasy feeling. Chosen one, your anger is so powerful that sometimes when you get angry, there will be people who didn't even have anything to do with why you are upset but they will find themselves getting upset too. Some of them will get just as mad. They're not mad at you. I mean, they're mad with you. Some of them will get just as mad or they will even get more upset than you are. Even though it's you that that is happening to, they get mad too. And this is whether they saw with their own eyes and witnessed what happened to you or not. That's just how powerful your anger is. People can still feel it. It affects other people. The shockwave that you are sending through the atmosphere when you are angry is so potent. It makes people feel it in their soul. They can feel it. 
And you know, the people that do make you upset, sometimes people are doing things not realizing or considering how it would make you feel. Although you are expressing yourself from a place of anger during that time, some people begin to quickly realize your point of view. They understand why you are mad. They start to see what they did wrong. It's because you aren't allowing them to be confused. You make things very clear. And in certain cases, you may have been very passive. And when you are very passive all the time, people just don't seem to get it. Sometimes it might shock people, but it took you getting a little upset and speaking your mind for some people to understand what is okay and what's not okay. Sometimes you have no choice but to teach other people how to treat you. Because otherwise, some people will just say and do whatever they want to do, again, without considering your feelings. Your feelings do not get considered until after the fact that they could tell you are upset. With some people, you can constantly and consistently be kind to them because that is what they are doing to you. You know, it's a two-way street. But you will find many people that you will encounter in this world that you got to throw all that kind of stuff out the window. You have to be more firm. Unfortunately, you cannot be so kind and passive with everybody. And again, it all depends on the person, but you will have those people that are doing certain things. They're saying and doing things to make you mad on purpose. That was their intent the whole time because they don't like you and they don't want to see you happy. But then you do have those people that they just kind of don't realize what they are doing. Maybe they are used to conducting themselves in that way with other people and it was okay. Once certain people realize you are not as passive as they thought you were, some of them begin to panic because they thought you would always be that way, not realizing they are the ones who taught you you can't be. They taught you you cannot be passive and kind like that all the time. It's because of their behaviors towards you. It's because of some of the things they let so loosely just come out of their mouth. People get so comfortable doing things to you that they shouldn't be doing. As you release your anger in the ways in which you choose to do it, it does make a difference because you're not going around putting your hands on people and, and just beating everybody up every time they make you mad. God's chosen ones are not violent people. You would defend yourself in a violent way if you really had to, but that's just not how you express your anger. You are not sitting there throwing stuff at people. You're not shouting it from the rooftops. You're not cussing and carrying on. Well, wait, you might, you might actually cuss a little bit. But anyway, the way you are expressing yourself, you will actually wind up gaining respect after the fact. People find out that although you are the kind person that you are, you will still speak up. You will still stand up for yourself. You may have previously had a habit of course, before watching this video, you may have previously had a habit of just letting people get away with things. So they thought it was cool until they realized you were upset and then they realized they overdid it. They have officially done too much. But in this season, chosen one, challenge yourself to speak up the first time instead of letting things go on and on. And then you just have this outburst of anger. We are avoided most of the time because we don't really like confrontation. You don't like drama. You are probably someone that just, you don't like stuff like that. You're very peaceful. So you'd be sitting there trying to keep the peace, but correct them the first time. Because when you correct it the first time, you are minimizing the amount of mistreatment you go through. You are minimizing the amount of mental agony that you will suffer from while whatever is happening to you. When you nip things in the bud the first time, people already know they are not allowed to do that to you anymore. And it also shows you that if this person or people continue doing whatever they said or did after the fact, they are showing you they don't really care about you. They don't really care about how you feel about it. They don't really care about whatever way you may be connected to them. And this could really be any connection. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be a lover, this could be a business partner, this could be an employer, it could be anybody. What is okay, what is tolerated by other people may not necessarily be okay with you. And that is okay. You are different. You are someone who requires respect because you are worthy of respect. And that's what you do. You respect other people. You treat people how you want to be treated. Your anger makes people 
feel like you are almost demanding respect because they they are realizing they aren't really given any other choice. They must do that to you too. If you are respecting them, they must respect you back. To be honest with you, you will find that there are people who actually do like you as a person, but they don't like this about you. They don't like it at all, but they respect it though, because your anger revealed that you don't take no crap from nobody and you don't discriminate. It don't matter who it is. The thing about it is you are someone of God. You know, you have a God filled spirit and it's certain things you might say. It's a certain way that you may carry yourself. And when people see you being nice all the time, and since you are of God, they think you have to be nice all the time but they get the wrong idea about you because of this. But just because you are someone of God doesn't mean you have to be nice all the time. God didn't say be no fool and just let people be out here treating you all kind of way for the sake of you being looked at as nice. That in itself is not of God. God would not want that for you. And since we're talking about God, even God has feelings too. Even God gets mad sometimes. God has his ways. He's not always you know, so nice, nice all the time. Everything is not all about blessings and all of that. No, God has feelings. God gets mad. God even has his ways. He gets jealous. He's very revengeful. That's why I always tell y'all on this channel, you do not have to seek revenge. God will happily do that for you. He is about that life and I love it. But anyways, back to your anger. While I'm not saying you should be a mean person, by all means, you shouldn't be mean. But what I am saying is that if you are out in this world as a chosen one of God, you have probably found out on your own the hard way that you do have to be more stern and being stern doesn't make you a mean or a bad person, but it allows other people to know and fully understand that you are not someone to be played with in the ways that they may have wanted to or even tried to. And you don't even mean no harm. You're not trying to hurt anyone or their feelings. You just trying to protect your own feelings, your own mind. You just don't want to be treated all kind of way. People who really care or people who really see your value, they won't have any problem correcting whatever behaviors and treat you properly. Because see, when your potent anger sends those shockwaves through the atmosphere, Sometimes it triggers people into self-reflection, even if they don't realize that's what's happening to them. They start looking at themselves and thinking about how they are and certain things they may need to consider changing. And other people may have gotten mad at them for the same exact thing, but it didn't hit them the same. I'm trying to tell you, your anger is potent. That thing hit different. Your anger makes people understand themselves more and they even begin to understand you even more. Some people may have even made you so upset that you started crying. See, now when they make you mad, that's one thing. But once you shed a tear, that's a whole nother thing. That's actually risky because every time somebody does that, God starts getting in his feelings about it. He gets way more involved. They may actually be reprimanded by God in some way, not in such a way that it will ruin their lives forever or anything, but they may just have like a really, really bad day or a really, really bad week. Just something bad may go on after making you cry. When you get angry, again, some people might gaslight you about this, but you have every right to have emotions. You have every right to feel your emotions and you have every right to express your emotions when you are directly being affected by something someone is doing without you being intimidated by what somebody might think or say about you or how they may feel about it. Since you are not a mean spirited person, you usually go right back to the happy person that you normally are rather quickly, but you expressing yourself during the times that you are angry, it's not, it's not always a bad thing. It's how you are keeping your power. It's how you are keeping your morals, your beliefs, your peace, and the respect that you have for yourself. For an exclusive one-on-one -on -one session with me or to donate to me in the channel, all that information will be down below in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Peace.